Hello, my creative friend, Olga Sabi here, and welcome to new acrylic pouring lesson. Working with fluid acrylics is so much fun, but today I'm here to tell you that your creative process does not need to stop the moment your fluid acrylics dry. You can improve or even enhance your painting even further by adding more details to a dry painting. And of course, if there are areas in your artwork that you don't like, it doesn't mean that the whole painting is a failure. You can correct those isolated sections of your choice and to really improve the entire piece. And I know you might be a little scared to even further mess up your painting by correcting and touching it up once dry, especially if you don't really have any experience with that. So today I want to share with you some of my best practices and ideas on how to do that. And if you're looking to keep growing further, improving your pouring skills, and standing out with your artistry, you have to check out my guide, Five Steps to Artistic Excellence, where I share my tips and recommendations. It is free and you can download it on my website. I will include the link for you in the description and also in the first comment below this video, as well as here in the corner. So make sure to check it out and Let's get started. To begin with, I want to show you a painting that I created on a very hot background. So here I'm working on multicolor base consisting of different shades of orange and a little bit of pink. On top of this vibrant base, I decided to create a black dancing flow. I'm adding a few more shades of orange and silver to help this black blend into my background and so that it doesn't look very flat. I really love how blowout worked in this one, but there was this one section that I immediately didn't like. I tried to correct it a lot while the acrylics were wet and fresh, but that just didn't work. So then I decided that I'm going to touch it up once the painting is dry. So this is what I want to show you. And with this example, I want to demonstrate you how to correct or touch up a painting in which the section that you don't like is pretty big. Okay, so let me show it to you step by step. The painting is dry and this is the section where I got too many cells. And it looks just too different from the rest of the painting and I want to change that. So let's create an outline in the section. I use fluid acrylics, same mix that I used for the painting itself. And the first big tip that I have for you is when you're touching up, you want to create uneven lines, just like I do here. The reason is when we do fluid painting, all the lines are not even thickness. So you have to do similar effect when you're doing the touch-up so that it looks cohesive with the rest of the painting. Unless, of course, you want to create a focal point in that area. After that, I decided to do a controlled mini blowout to cover up the section that I don't like so that it looks very similar, similar to the rest of the blowout petals that I already have in this piece. Of course, I'm using all the same exact colors that I use for a pour itself. Now, this is also important. When you're blowing over an existing painting, so existing pour on your canvas, you get pretty high chances of getting crazing in this top layer. And here are the two key factors that will help you avoid it. So make sure you take a note of that. First of all, it is important to let the painting fully cure at least two weeks. And the second one will depend on the recipe that you are using. If you mix your colors with water only, you are much more likely to get crazy when you do this particular type of correction. Because with water, you have significantly stretched the binding capacity of the paint. So it's just gonna have much harder time drying correctly, which does increase chances of crazy. By the way, I used to mix my acrylics with water only, and it's one of the reasons I stopped doing that. After the blowout, 
I take a brush again and I blend it in with the rest of the painting by extending some of the lines and matching existing shapes that I already have in this flow. And of course, we can correct any other sections that need a little bit of love and attention. Here is the final result. As you can see, the touched up area looks super cohesive to the rest of the painting. You can't even tell that it was done afterwards and now it's fully complete. Moving on to painting number two. And in the first example, I showed you how to correct element of the blowout. So one of the main elements of the composition. With the second demo, I want to show you how to correct negative space around your blowout. And negative space is often overlooked and I find that correcting it can help you increase the overall balance of the composition and of course shape up your main flow. So here I'm working on very dark, deep violet and I want to create a gradient of violet color from warm side where it's mixed with magentas and purples all the way to a cool side where it's going to overmix with blue and turquoise. So working with beautiful violet gradient here and I have a gold color on both sides of the painting as well as some white. So let's do the blowout. This piece is definitely pretty good, striking color palette and lots of beautiful cells. But I did feel like it needs a bit more work to get it from good to stunning. And this is what touch-up is all about. Once the painting is cured for two plus weeks, I wanted to touch up and improve the negative space to shape up the center part and also keep a little less gold in this core section. I'm using the same exact color as I used for the base during the pour. And like I said in the first example, when we worked on the orange and black painting, when creating such a solid coverage on top of the existing pour, if your acrylics are mixed with water only, you have to be mindful because you might get some crazing. So with my new recipe, I don't have this problem because even though my new recipe is about 75% water, so I still use a lot of water in my mixture, but the water is enhanced with certain type of binders, so the chances of crazing issue or poor drying are very low. After correcting the negative space, I decided to touch up a few lines within the main blowout. And again, I'm using the same exact colors that I used for the pour itself. And by the way, you can also use a straw to move the colors, even for the touch up, so not only brushes. But for the brushes, I recommend you getting a set with a variety of small size flat and round brushes. I will include the link to the one that I use in the description. Here is another idea for you. It's one of my favorite things to do when doing a touch up, and it's extending these golden lines. I call them golden veins to improve the flow, to connect the entire painting more towards my focal point, which has more gold, and of course, to add pretty golden accents. And again, just like in the first part, you don't want these lines to be uniform thickness. Use small brush and create uneven thickness so that your touch-up embellishment looks cohesive with the rest of your painting. Here is this piece fully finished, and you can see that a few small additions, small details, made a big difference in the overall appearance of this painting. So I strongly recommend you, you know, I challenge you to give it a try and also to enhance and correct your artworks on top of your fluid acrylics. In the first two paintings in this lesson, I show you how to do some modifications, but keep the overall flow and initial shape of the painting. Well, in this third painting, I'm going to show you how to significantly modify your painting. And by the way, tell me, do you find all these recommendations and tips on how to touch up and correct your painting helpful? Would you like me to share more tips and pouring hacks with you? Let me know in the comments below so that I know for future videos if it's helpful for you or not. Thank you. So here I'm working with paint kiss technique and you can see that it created very beautiful blend of colors on the canvas with a little bit of cell and more contrast towards the center. And I really like all the lines it created with some contrast created due to the paint kiss separation of colors. 
but I did feel like colors have all blended a little bit too much to my taste. And I decided that with a touch-up I want to add more contrast, definition and character to this artwork. I want to make it look like a jewel and let me share the process with you. So let the touch-up begin. And once again, make sure to let it dry, to let the painting dry for at least two weeks. And again, I'm going to use the same fluid acrylics, the same mixture, the same colors as I used for the painting itself. I highly recommend using thin, long, round brush to create this type of lines. When you press on this brush more, you will create a thicker line. And if you barely add any pressure towards the brush, you will create very thin lines. So this is how you create this beautiful, continuous flowing line, but with uneven thickness all throughout. And of course, make sure to follow the lines that you already have on the canvas, so that your touch-up looks in balance with the existing design. To add more volume to your artwork, try adding lighter sections for some highlights and darker sections for shades, and this will help you achieve a more 3D appearance. Here is another idea for you. Load your brush not with one, but with two or more colors, and you can create this beautiful blend of colors in your design. Finally, practicing is very important, of course, but only by learning how to trust yourself, trust your artistic instinct, and to not be judgmental to yourself. This is the only way you can really elevate your skills. Here is this piece after the touch-up, and you can see that it has turned from an average pour to a beautiful ocean jewel. I love all the dramatic contrast that is going on here, and of course, all the beautiful details. Well, I hope you are full of ideas on how to improve and correct your artwork. Remember, practice makes perfect. And last recommendation. If you are not very skilled with all this touch-up thing and you're worried that you're gonna make a mistake or completely mess it up, don't worry. If you add a detail that you don't really like, simply wipe it off right away with wet paper towel. It's very easy to correct, so give it a try. And don't forget to check out my guide, The 5 Steps to Artistic Excellence. And make sure to join me this coming Saturday for a lunch of my new series called Fluid Rhythm. It's going to be something very special and I don't want you to miss it out. Thank you so much for joining me today. Take care, create with passion, and I will see you this coming weekend. Bye-bye.